Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. Today I have a small haul that I did over uh, Labor Day weekend. You know, everybody was having some sales and there were things I had my eye on for some time and been holding out. <laughs> um, I obviously, this is gonna be phase one of the haul. I actually have a couple more things coming, but I also have a stitch fix to do in another video and I kinda wanna get all this wrapped up and in the mail this weekend. So the other two things are gonna have to wait for another time. All right, first thing is my Ever Eve haul. So the first thing I got, and I have my eye on this in a while, and I don't know why I don't do like it so much, but it's the Tessa Stripe Pullover in black. All right, let me hold it up and you can see it's striped. It's a black top with uh, brown stripes on it. It kind of has the puff sleeves, right? Um, it's it's probably like a half, a half sleeve. They're, they're calling it short sleeve, but I would say it's gonna be a half sleeve on me. It has the uh, banded bottom. And it is by Ever Eve. I got it in my normal extra small. And let me see what the material on this one is. This is 50% cotton, 50% modal. The care instructions are dry clean or hand wash cold and lay flat to dry non-chlorine bleach. Hmm. So I would probably put this in a garment bag, wash it on the hand washable cycle versus my delicate cycle. I actually have two different cycles in my washing machine and then lay it flat to dry. Um, I got this giant uh, flat ring uh, mesh thing to put it on from Amazon. So I will probably use that as my dryer. Uh, I do like this sweater a lot. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, uh, one thing I wanted to point out, first thing I looked at when I put, took it out of the box, because it is pretty pricey, and I'll give you the price in a second, I wanted to make sure the stripes line up, and they do so perfectly. <laughs> because if the stripes didn't line up, I wasn't even gonna bother trying it on, I was gonna send it right back, because my price after discount was $88.20. So it's an expensive little sweater. <laughs> okay. The next thing I got was this Milo Linen Rib Henley, by, also by Ever Eve. Now, you're gonna be like, oh, this is the most boring shirt ever, Carolyn. Why'd you spend your money on that? I need some boring shirts like this. I don't have any basic white shirts for layering. Um, you know, so I was looking for like a Henley or something that had a little bit of interest, but not over the top, because I wanna layer it with, with like my moto jackets. Okay, um, I got this again in my normal size extra small and it's 6120 and let's look at the fabric content. The fabric content is 81 polyester, 15% linen, 4% spandex and the care instructions are machine wash, cold, delicate and let's see, do not bleach low iron, tumble dry, low, okay? So it is a really cute top, and if it fits me well, I am going to keep it. Again, my price, 61.20. Okay, next we move on to White House Black Market. First thing I got from White House Black Market is this sleeveless scallop peplum top. All right, now this I would consider a bustier, okay? They're not defining it as such, but it is. It does have extra strings if you want to attach it for straps. Um, I would probably wear this as a bustier. Uh, it does have um, plastic in here, what do you call it? The silicone grip, so it shouldn't slip. And of course, the things to attach it to make it um, shoulder straps. And there's uh, sunflowers all around it. It does have a zip back. Here is the back of it. It has a door of a little scallop at the bottom. Uh, some, I, I'm a big floral person. I don't own sunflowers. And typically sunflowers aren't my style. Like some people really are into sunflowers. I'm not, I mean, I don't dislike them, but I'm just not really into them. But something about this kept going, buy me, Carolyn, buy me. And originally, let me show you what the price is here. Originally, this is $110. And I was just like, freaking no way. It got marked down to $54.99, and during the Labor Day sale, it was $40.99. $40.99 is more like it. <laughs> so this is a really cute little bustier top. If I keep this and the white top, that knocks two things off my wish list. If you haven't seen my wish list video, I'll link it up here so you can get an idea of things that I'm looking for, but uh, it's nothing that I absolutely need. And I have to say, this, this particular sweater was not on my wish list. I just liked it and wanted it. 
Okay, next up, also from White House Black Market. This one popped up to me uh, for me on Facebook, and it I didn't when I was in the store I didn't see it. When I was online I didn't see it, or at least didn't notice it. But this reminded me, at least the back of it, of a top from um, Nation Ltd. That's in white, and it's on. Uh, it is currently being sold at Air Reef for like a ridiculous amount of money, which I cannot justify. So this is the long sleeve matte jersey top. Okay, and they're calling it the tie back top, and they're calling this color indigo. So I know the lighting's terrible. I'm sorry. I'll do the try on when the the sun is fully up, so you can see the color better. It's I would call it more like a slate blue. So it just has like regular sleeves. Okay, plain old sleeves, nothing exciting. Um, and the bottom is banded, which I actually prefer a banded bottom. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I do. I think it helps define my waist. And because I'm short, they really don't ride up on me. And this is the part that I liked a lot, is this tie back top. All right, see how it has a tie in the back? I just thought that was so cute. So this I got my normal size extra small as well. Let's see what the fabric is on this one. I would say it's probably 100% polyester, but let me look. Uh, all right, I'll tell you, yeah, 99% polyester, sorry, 95% polyester, 5% spandex, well, what machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, lay flat to dry, which I can do. So, yeah, I mean, I like this, but, um, you know, I'm not so sure how it's going to look on. It kind of might look a little sloppy on. It might be a little bit too big. I don't know. We'll have to see what it looks like on, but I really enjoyed the back of it. And I didn't tell you the fabric material on the bustier, which by the way, has an inside lining as well. So the bustier, which is what I'm referring to it as, shell is 97% cotton, 3% spandex. The lining is 97% polyester and 3% spandex. And this one, Machine wash cold with similar colors, gentle cycle only, nine chlorine bleach, lay flat to dry, warm iron, maybe dry cleaned. All right, so yeah. Okay, next up, Stitch Fix. You knew I had to do some, order something from Shoot Freestyle. That app just haunts me. First one is the Violets and Roses Selma Satin Cami for $38. Now, again, this was on my list. <laughs> I, I don't have any plain black camis. I got a plain white cami or ivory cami, so at least I have that now. And this would fulfill my plain black cami for layering. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's like pleating detail around here. And there's three straps. They are not adjustable, so we'll have to see how that works for me. Um, and yeah, it's just a basic cami. As long as the, the strips don't fall off, it's good. I would probably say this is 100% polyester. It's more of a satin type of polyester though versus, you know, the scratchy kind. So 96% polyester, 4% spandex, machine wash before wearing, machine wash cold, gentle cycle, light colors, non-chlorine bleach, tumble dry low, cool iron if needed. Okay, $38 which is pretty much the going rate for a cami everywhere I seem to go. <laughs> All right, next up I got the Danny Two Pocket Open Cardigan. They're calling this gray. Color block cardigan was on my list. I love the neutral colors. I love this like, I'm gonna call it, it's not quite a burgundy, it's not quite a terracotta. It's kind of something in between the camel and the ivory together. The gray is okay with it too, I like it, but I mean, I love these three colors together. So I really, uh, that's what attracted to me to this particular color block cardigan. Now I was watching another YouTube channel. They're saying color block cardigans are so out of style. You know what? I don't care. I mean, I, it's not like I have a closet full of color block cardigans. I have, this would be my only one if I have one. So I'm okay with it because I like this particular cardigan and the color combination. I think the colors are very warm and then fall, fallish, but yet still neutral. This cardigan was only $48, which I don't think is a bad price, and it is 90% polyester, 7% nylon, 3% spandex, machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, non-chlorine bleach needed, tumble dry low. I would not put this in the dryer. And uh, yeah, so I think this is a nice, you know, little cardigan and has potential and I'll give it a try. All right, I'm going to wait until the sun comes up later to do a try on so you can get a better view of what these are. 
All right, give me a few hours and you'll see me again seamlessly. Okay, up first I have the White House Black Market uh, Bustier Top. Um, this is tight fitting, but it needs to be tight fitting in order to stay up, right ladies? <laughs> so uh, it's, it's definitely form fitting and it almost has like a peplum style here. It has a seam and then a little bit of a a little bit of a peplumish type of uh, bottom here to it with the scalloped edge. I think I like this. I paired this with a pair of Ever Eve joggers. Actually, sorry, take that back. These are from level 99 that I ordered directly um, in a dark olive. And I paired it with a pair of brown heels that I got quite some time ago. Very comfortable. Uh, see, you can see them here in this picture. So I think I'm gonna keep this. Um, I'm gonna look back at the footage and make sure it looks okay on me. Uh, what do you think? Um, I actually, and look at this, I have two different shoes on. I can't believe it, I did it again. Look at this, I'm panning down. So you can see I have two different pairs of brown shoes on. And this is not the first time I've done this. <laughs> Which tells me I have too many shoes. So, uh, yeah, got to make sure I don't do that if I wear this to dinner tomorrow night. So, what do you guys think of this? Um, I'm thinking I'm going to keep it. it. Again, $40.99 on sale. All right, um, next up is the next White House Black Market Top. Okay, up next is the next White House Black Market Top. I paired it with a pair of ivory cargo pants, also from White House Black Market from years ago. Um, and as well, I'll pan down so you can see my shoes. They're like a, a muted snakeskin print from Dolce Vita, also from a couple years ago. Um, I think I'm gonna return this top. So this top, I'm gonna come closer. You see, it's very tight around the arms, all right? And it's very polyester-y. And I also feel because of the slickness and everything, it's something that could probably snag pretty easily too. Um, the front of it is very plain. I also feel it's kind of like large in the shoulders. Like it's not supposed to be off the shoulder, I don't think, but it, it feels like it is, like it's gonna come off. And the back is where the party is, but I don't know, it's just kind of like a big bow and hanging. It's not, it doesn't look cute, I don't think in my opinion. It, it's not as cute as it looked online. So I think I'm gonna be returning this one. It was only $21, but still, why am I gonna spend $21 on a top that I probably will never pull for? <laughs> All right, so that's it for the White House Black Market. Um, let me pop on something from Ever Eve. Okay, up next is the Ever Eve sweater in the black and brown stripe. This is really adorable, I love it. Um, this works perfect for my work at home lifestyle of like elevated casual. Uh, I have it paired with my clogs, I'll show down. A pair of jeans from Cut From The Cloth and um, clogs that I got last year from Sam, who did I get these from? Steve Madden. Um, I really like this, I'm gonna keep it. It reminds me of um, a sweater that I got a couple of years ago from uh, Ann Taylor, kind of like ivory and like a, a mustard stripe. So just the stripes, you know, stripes and the, the style of it. However, I cannot find that in my closet now, and I just tore apart all my sweaters looking for it. So I'm gonna have to tear them apart again tonight. And I was looking at my husband's side of the closet, which has a lot of empty space. What do you think? Do you think I should start taking over his part of the closet? And he's not gonna be too happy about that at all, but he is just, you know, he, he just is not interested in clothes. And I just don't understand. He keeps stuff forever, and I don't know. I want, I want his space. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> what would you do if you were in my shoes? All right, so this is a keeper. I'm gonna have to tear apart my closet, look for that other sweater, and also find room for this one. All right, give me a minute and you'll see the next Every Eve top. Okay, up next is the uh, Henley by Ever Eve, and it is a little thin, and it is a little snug, but it's supposed to be that way because it's that ribbed material. Uh, the sleeves are a little bit long, as to be expected. Um, it is a very soft fabric. And of course, you knew I was going to pair this with this pink moto, which you're probably all sick of looking at right now. <laughs> so I do like this top because I think it pairs very well with a jacket. So I think I'm gonna be keeping this, all right? Um, let me take the jacket off and show you how the back looks so you can get an idea. Um, I have it uh, 
a front top, but I let the back out so you can see how long it is. It's not a very long top at all, and it's straight across. All right, um, yeah, I think I'm keeping this one too. Okay, on to the next item. Okay, now we're on to the Stitch Fix items. This is the color block of um, sweater that was on my list. You can see it has patch pockets and they did a pretty good job in matching the, the color blocking with the pocket here. It's not 100% perfect, but good enough for me for the price. <laughs> so um, it is very soft material and it like it, but believe it or not, the only thing I can find to pair with this is this ivory camisole that I recently got from Stitch Fix. But I guess that's why I got the ivory camisole because I needed items to pair with uh, different you know, toppers and I didn't have any basics. So um, this fits me very well. This is an extra small and the arm length is absolutely perfect. I feel it's like the perfect length. Um, yeah, I like this sweater and I think I'm going to be keeping it. All right, up next is the uh, camisole also from Stitch Fix and I believe that's my last item today. So give me a minute. Okay, up last is the cami. So I have my black, uh, my, my black moto, but my, one of my moto jackets over this. And this is exactly why I needed a plain cami. I don't have any basic layering things. Everything I have is like prints um, or things just don't layer very well. So I'm very excited to have this to my uh, wardrobe. Uh, is, um, I'll take it off, excuse the bra straps, I didn't want to switch into a strapless, and I would be wearing this with a black bra, and a regular bra, because I don't plan to take my jacket off when wearing something like this. The one thing I really like about it, it is not too deep of a V. All right, so you come close here, you can see the pleating here. It is more of a satin polyester, so like a, like a silky type of feeling. It does have three straps. They're not adjustable, but they don't seem to be slipping down my arms, so I like that. So yeah, I'm happy uh, to have this and add this to my wardrobe and it marks something off my list. Well, what do you think? I got some items on my list, list wish list plus a few extras. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. If you haven't liked yet, give this a thumbs up. Click that notification bell and get notified of future videos from me. Take care and until next time.